Smile and learn. Hi, friends. Welcome to my farm. It's harvest time, which means I need to pick all the apples from the trees and count them. Will you help me? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Hmm. There are too many apples to count. There must be an easier way. If I make groups of 10 apples each, then counting might be easier. Let's see. It looks like I have five groups of 10 apples and three apples left over. If I add all the groups plus three apples, I get 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3, which equals 53 apples in total. Wow, that was way faster than counting one apple at a time. Here's another pile of apples I need to count. It looks like I have 12 groups of 10 apples and 7 single apples left over. That's a lot of groups I have to add together. Hmm, I've got it! I can make a new group. 10 groups of 10 apples each gives me 100 apples. Then I have 2 groups of 10 apples and 7 single apples left over. Meaning 100 plus 20 plus 7 equals 127 apples. Amazing! I can group the apples by 10 or group them further by 100 to quickly count large quantities. Did you know that each digit in a number has a meaning? This is called place value. We counted 127 apples. Each digit 1, 2, and 7 has a place value. Let's look! We use a place value chart to show the place value of each digit. This is 1's place, 10's place, and 100's place. We count till 9 under 1's place. When we get to 10, we move to the 10's place. We continue counting till 99. When we get to 100, we move again to the 100's place. As you can see, the place value increases as we go from 1's to 100's. Since we counted 127 apples earlier, we can place 7 single apples under 1's value. We had 2 groups of 10 apples, so we can place the 2 groups under the 10's value. Finally, we had 1 group of 100 apples, which we made with the 10 groups of 10 apples. We can place the 1 group under the 100's value. 1 is in the 100's place. 2 is in the 10's place. And 7 in the 1's place. 100 apples plus 20 apples plus 7 apples gives us 127 apples. Cool, huh? Woo! I finished counting all these apples. Grouping the apples by 10 and by 100 was a great idea. So was using the place value chart to put the digits in the correct place values. Ones, tens, and hundreds. This made counting all the apples way easier. Thank you for helping me today. Time for some apple pies. See you later. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. 
Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.